B2B Cambodia, the portal for business news in Cambodia. This is Anthony Galliano for B2B Cambodia with a special interview. Visiting Cambodia is Depesh Trivedi, who works for a company called UIB, which is in the space of AI and digital transformation. So we're very fortunate today as he's stopping by the B2B studios to talk about AI and digital transformation in Cambodia. So Depesh, introduce yourself. Awesome. Thanks all. Uh, so thanks for having me. So my name is Depesh. I am the new CEO here at UIB, um, and uh, I'm relatively new to the role. I'm about six months in, and I'm um, still would consider myself new and still learning. Um, and whilst I'm new at UIB, I'm certainly not new to the space. I've been working in uh, technology and in digital for almost 20 years. So prior to this role, I'd spent most of my tenure working at Facebook or as it's commonly known, Meta. I was uh, a very early hire over in the UK office where I spent the first three years uh, kind of focused on sales and business operations. So I spent a lot of time uh, helping opening up a number of offices across uh, the EMEA region, so specifically in Europe. And then in 2011, I had the opportunity to move out to Singapore. I helped open up a number of offices in the region, so Bangkok, KL, Manila, and Jakarta. Um, I, I effectively ended up leaving Meta in 2023. In February last year, I ended up joining the board at UIB, and then uh, in Q4 last year, I ended up uh, joining as the new CEO. So, um, you know, super exciting space to be in. I think uh, the world is shifting towards messaging as a new form of communication with, with businesses. And uh, there's a lot, there's a big role AI plays in that as we think about AI agents and, and, and automating a lot of these processes, so. Uh, let's go into uh, AI and digital transformation. And we like to first keep it as simple as possible. Yeah. Um, it's just AI. What is AI? You know, the way that I think about AI, so yes, it's artificial intelligence. Essentially what you're doing is you are creating some kind of computer system or program or writing computer system or program to basically um, replicate simple human tasks that are, you know, whether that's um, problem solving, whether that's learning, whether that's thinking, to produce an outcome. AI is uh, creating some uh, anxiety in the workforce that humans are going to be replaced. Um, how far is this going to go? I don't necessarily agree with the topic of, well, AI is taking my job. What I, what I genuinely believe in, what I've seen in our industry, you know, um, with UIB is People, especially in the customer care industry, people are like, well, hold on, AI is going to take my job because it can automate a lot of my other responses that I used to do before. And actually, what that's not what happens. What happens is AI relieves a lot of pressure on, on, call, on contact centers and call centers where essentially what happens is any kind of question that can be automated and answered, you know, through AI gets answered. And what that does is it actually relieves a lot of pressure on the agents so that the agents can work on more complicated tasks that AI is not able to solve today. Well, you're visiting Cambodia. Yeah. So I'm sure you're just scratching the surface of what's going on here at the moment. What have you seen so far in terms of AI, digital transformation in Cambodia? Yeah, here's kind of where I've been um, really impressed. So one, the last time I was here was 10, 11 years ago with my wife. Um, and so, you know, it feels like a completely different country. The way I think about digital transformation, it's kind of on an arc to some extent. And some countries are further ahead than others. So if you think about the adoption of the internet, a big part of the West were adopting the internet way quicker than most of the other world. And the reason for that is they can afford computers. Now, when it came to the adoption of mobile phones and smartphones, Asia ended up leading that much quicker than anybody else because they didn't have access to a computer, but they could get access to cheap smartphones. The second area, when I think about digital transformation, is conversational commerce. I don't know what, if you guys know what this is. This is a huge phenomenon in markets like Thailand and Vietnam, where consumers would basically speak to a merchant on a platform like Messenger or Zalo or whatever what line I think it is in Thailand. And you know that and that type of behavior was like really born out of Asia. And we've seen other countries adopt it. But if I look at 
digital transformation on the conversational commerce part, Asia was like the furthest ahead. If I bring that back to Cambodia, like I do see a huge amount of digital transformation, if I'm brutally honest. I think when people think about emerging Asia or Cambodia, they, they, they think about it in a slightly different way to the West, which I understand because the behavior is different. But as I think about digital transformation, there are, there are a lot of areas where Asia is really on that top of the art compared to the West, where they are, they are really catching up. Well, Depesh, thank you so much for your time. Any last word for Cambodia on AI? You know, I'm so personally, I'm excited to be here. I think the appetite from the people to learn is high, which is what's got me really excited. I mean, you know, I think there's a lot we can do to help them. I just think people need to come in and actually be willing to make the investment. So um, my, my, my only thing to, to, to the people of Cambodia is just, you know, keep up the appetite. I think uh, it's going to pay off really in, in the short to medium term. Thank you again. Great to have you here. Yeah, Please visit us more it. often. Yeah, I, I plan to be here soon. Thank you.